Finals of 1976, and we're coming up to a very critical event. The bicycle final, it is for one mile in distance, four times around this quarter mile running track. And the man who really must have the pressure and the heat of the whole thing on his back right now is Bob Rigby. Here he is with Reggie. In order to stay in contention, as you know as well as I do and all of our viewers out there in, in TV land, you've got to come up with a victory here right now, and you've got the man of muscles next to you, the guy over there with a kick that's unbelievable, of course, Mr. Road here that just never gets tired, it seems, and Dave Henry, the 400-meter man over there. So you got your work cut out for you. Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it. You want to save a little energy right now, huh? Yeah, definitely. Just keep going. I want to get it done with <laughs> Good luck to you, buddy. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. All right, let's set the field for you now. We have five finalists, and here's how they qualified. Wayne Grimditch at 110.18 seconds is in lane number one in his half-mile qualifying run. Lou Ferrigno is running in lane number two. In lane number three, it'll be Bob Rigby. Kyle Roach is in lane number four. And David Hemery outside in lane number five. Now, it's going to be interesting to see what sort of tactic Roth employs here. If he can just grab a couple of points then he can slam the door on that 25 grand bonus money and win the Superstars Championship for a second time. He won it in 1974. They're going into that first turn, five abreast. Somebody better back off just a little bit. It's Ferrigno going out into the lead. They go around four times. Ferrigno cruising along. You notice that Rigby ducked right in behind him, taking the benefit of that big guy in front of him. That's what the NASCAR Grand National Stockers would call drafting. He's enjoying it. Grimditch is sitting in there. Rigby is sitting in there. And now Roach and Henry are well back. So let's see if Rigby can get back up into a drafting position now. You see that Grimditch almost got a little too close and almost bumped into uh, uh, Ferrigno. And we have seen people tumble off bicycles in this competition. They get going pretty fast. Bob Seagram took a heck of a tumble. Left just fly, went flying off the track one time. Coming around in lap number two, it is still that same person, Ferrigno up front. And uh, Grimditch is really tucked in behind him now. And Rigby trying to close up and benefit from that uh, buffeting a little bit too. Kyle Road is trailing the field at the moment. Henry has moved up to four. Going into lap number three now. It is still the same order, and the field is bunching up a little bit. That may mean that Ferrigno, realizing he doesn't want to burn himself too soon, backs off a little bit to save. Now you see Rigby has moved up, and he is right alongside of Wayne Grimditch. But again, remember that Grimditch has a tremendous kick on that bicycle. Boy, he just comes flying out of the pack. At least he has every time I've ever seen him ride it. Kyle Road is still trailing the field. Henry is running in the fourth spot. It is Ferrigno. We're coming toward the gun lap now. It is Grimditch right behind Ferrigno. Rigby trying to move up on the outside. He's got the Grimditch boxed inside. It is Rigby going for the lead and getting it, going into the turn. So as they go into the final lap, it is Bob Rigby laying it all down. Rigby going into this event. He has 18 and a half points. If he is to have any chance at all of winning this thing, he has got to win this race. And uh, here he goes. It is Grimditch, though, with a come kick. On, come on, Grimditch just got up on his pedals and blew him down. Rigby made a gallant fight of it, but Grimditch is something else on that bicycle. Hey! Grimditch comes on to win it with that tremendous sprint. Rigby takes second. It'll be Henry third. That's a surprise. Blue Ferrigno drops all the way back to four, and Kyle Roach trails the field. Boy, I'll tell you, that Grimditch looks like he's got an engine he turns on or something, doesn't he? Rigby made a very gallant effort as he went for the lead and got the lead just shortly after they entered the fourth lap or the final lap, but Bob just couldn't hold off Grimditch as they came off the back straight. Grimditch just blew by him and came on the wind going away. I don't think his legs ever get tired. So Wayne Grimditch picks up 10 points. That boosts his point total up to 26 and a half and jumps him very much into contention for that second place bonus money of $15,000. Kyle Roach finished in the number five position. Good for one point. Gives him a total of 33. Here's the man who won it. Wayne Grimditch with Reggie. Wayne, you just continue to amaze the people and blow everybody down with that monstrous kick that you've got. Well, uh, thank you, Reggie. <laughs> I really give it all I had, and uh, that's kind of put me back into it a little bit at least. Kyle's really risen to the occasion. 
today and yesterday. And he's uh, he's looking tough, but I'm doing almost the best I can do, and I'm happy with that. I think that with a uh, obstacle course victory right now, or possibly with a second, you can get into real serious contention. Well, I uh, I don't plan on winning. I know I, everyone's shooting to win, but Lynn's pretty tough in that. I think I've got a good chance. I've been working on some of the areas in it. If I get up the wall, all right, I, I think I have a good chance. A second place man will get you an awful lot of money, right? That's true, and he'll let me come back next year, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. Thanks a lot, buddy. Sure. Okay. Okay, I think we should point out that Mr. Grimditch just nailed down a two-minute, 24.08 second race for the mile, and that is a new superstar record. So that record of Ard Schenck has finally been done in.